Hello guys, I know a lot of you guys have tried to set up your Logitech driving wheel with Cyberpunk 2077 without any success. This is because the game does not officially support any driving wheels. So we have to do a workaround to get this working. Today I'm going to show you how to do this setup step by step. So, without any further ado, let's get started. First I'll explain how this setup works. Although Cyberpunk doesn't support driving wheels, it supports Xbox 360 controllers for input. What we are going to do is, install an Xbox 360 controller emulator in our PC, and pass the driving wheel input through this emulator. First you need to download the emulator from x360ce.com. I will put the link in the description. In the website, click on download for all games. It will download a zip file which contains the emulator, after the download completes, you need to extract this. You can extract this to any location you want. Before you proceed to the next step, make sure you have powered up your driving wheel and connected it to your PC. Now, open the emulator. Go to controller 1 tab. Then, click on the add button with the green cross. You can see your Logitech G29 driving wheel in the device list. Select it, and click add selected device. Initially, you will see that all the settings are blank. Go down. Click on auto, and click yes. Now, the default settings for the driving wheel will be loaded. On the left side, click on trigger drop down. Select record. Now. Press the brake paddle of your driving wheel, all the way down. Now go to the right side. Click trigger drop down. Select record, and press the accelerator paddle of the driving wheel, all the way down. Again go to the left side. Repeat the previous steps for the brake paddle. In the end of this process, you should see the green marks of both triggers at the same level. If not, please repeat the steps. Now click on the stick axis Y drop down, and select none. This left thumb of the emulator is mapped to the driving wheel input. Rotate the driving wheel, and make sure you see the changes in the screen. Make sure the little green plus mark on the left thumb is going all the way to both sides when you rotate the driving wheel. Now click on the left thumb tab. Under the sensitivity settings, tick the invert checkbox, and adjust the sensitivity to 100%. Now, click on the games tab. Click add, in the file explorer, go to the path of game exe file, and select it. Wait for the game to be added game is now added to the emulator. Now, go to the controller 1 tab again, and check enable one map device. Check if the sensitivity settings has changed. If changed, adjust it again. Click on save all. Now the emulator has been successfully configured. Next part is to configure Logitech Gaming Software. Now, open the Logitech Gaming Software. If you are already running it, open it from the taskbar. Click on the driving wheel icon. Double click on the steering wheel icon. Adjust the sensitivity to 15%. Change the wheel operating angle to 120 degrees. And, check the box to enable centering spring force feedback. Then, click OK. Now, go to the emulator again. In the Games tab, select Cyberpunk and click Run.
make sure to minimize the emulator before the game starts. You can see the command icons has changed to Xbox icons. When it says press B, you can press X on your driving wheel. Congratulations! You are all set to drive through Night City. If you encounter any problems, delete the emulator, set up the Logitech driving software first, and then set up the emulator. If you have any questions, suggestions or ideas, please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for awesome content. Happy gaming! Bye!